Hi, I'm here today with Darwin Kang. She's a co-founder of Coffee Meets Bagel. Darwin, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. So tell us about Coffee Meets Bagel. It's the first um, online dating app that is designed by women mm -hmm. for women. Mm -hmm. What inspired you and your sisters to start it? Yeah, you know, when my sisters and I looked at this market, what we noticed is that a lot of dating apps out there are all about serving up as many profiles and photos as possible, yeah. which basically results in um, a lot of guys just mass spamming all the profiles of women they see with messages like, hey, sexy, hey, baby, which is really creepy. And we realized that's actually one of the reasons why women don't use online dating because it doesn't feel safe. Mm -hmm. um, so we really wanted to change this. And how did you actually get it started? So you had the idea. What did you do next? Um, so I think when it comes to consumer tech, it's all about um, getting your product out there and iterating as fast as possible. And so we wanted to come up with MVP, which is a minimal viable product. Um, basically, we hired a, a developer from overseas, very cheap, um, and have a, you know, developed a very minimal product. And we did the matching all manually by hand, mm -hmm. um, you know, with among 50 of our friends, got a really positive results and decided to kind of fully work on it from there. Sure. So before you found that developer, mm -hmm. you mentioned they were overseas and they were yeah. cheap. What did you need to know? A um, couple of things. Um, so you need to, so three of us, my sisters and I who started this company, this was our first time um, starting a company. Yeah. Uh, we are not technical. So um, for first time entrepreneur to start a consumer tech company as a non-technical founder is very challenging. Um, and so for for people in that situation, what I highly recommend is get a tech advisor sure. um, who is familiar with um, different languages that you can use to develop a platform, who can help you write a job description, who can also interview initially. Um, and those all really helped. Sure. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that you guys have found? Um, you know, I think as a first time entrepreneur, there are a lot of problems that you never expect. Um, would happen. Yeah. Um, so for example, as a dating um, mobile app, um, you have a very limited space. I guess it applies to any mobile app companies, um, but you have a very limited space um, that you have in, in order to kind of convey the core message of uh, your app or your product. And that's very challenging. And you also have to take into consideration, okay, in what context is your consumer using your app? They're always walking around on the go. That means they may not um, have a lot of attention, like they, they only have five seconds to look at your app or they their connection might be bad. And so things that we didn't really think about or anticipate became an issue and problems that we needed to address. Um, and so I think those were the main challenges. Sure. And it's quite a competitive space. It is. How do you stay so competitive? Um, I think for any consumer tech company, the, the, the one thing that you could do to stay competitive or ahead of competitor is um, user empathy. Just listening to your users uh, relentlessly. Um, I think if you cannot actually relate to the users or um, stop listening because you've developed a product and it's working, working, it seems to be working well, then you're basically lost. Okay. You have to be obsessed about your customer needs, always, always listening. I, customer success team members is actually um, one of the bigger kind of resources where we dedicate our time to because um, without them and without their feedback, we don't have product roadmap. Sure, some great tips there. <laughs> what about um, you guys famously turned down Mark Cuban's $30 million <laughs> offer to buy your business right. on Shark Tank in the mm -hmm. US. Why did you do that? And any regrets? Um, so to answer your second question, no regrets whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, we turned it down because, um, you know, online dating, I think, is a very, very exciting market right now. It's globally about $4 billion, which actually isn't that big, um, if you think about it. But it's basically kind of at this juncture of explosion. Mm -hmm. um, you have this uh, you know, very interesting lifestyle change where people are becoming perpetual singles. They're getting married later. They're getting divorced. We're becoming super busy, have very little time left to actually go out and meet new people. And so demand and the need for this kind of service is just growing globally. And uh, we think we have a team and a model that really works. Um, and we think we can be better than Match, which is a billion dollar revenue company. Sure. So on to bigger and better things. E exactly. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, nice to for, meet you. Thanks for having me.